Good morning, Cedar Heights. Today is Wednesday, January 13th. This is a B day. That means you'll go to periods two, four, and six. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Cedar Heights, I know it's going to be a really good day. It's interesting. We don't have any birthdays today. That's a fun fact. This is Flint. Yeah. I believe our fun fact is thus far this year, I think we counted six days with no birthdays. With no birthdays. So far. That is a fun fact. Crazy. Hey, Principal Kane has a message for you from his office. So, good morning, Cedar Heights. So glad to see all of you. See me in my college gear. I am looking to hear or see pictures of each of you in your college gear. So the 11th person to send me a picture to the email abo above wearing your gear, look for a little rain devil love coming your way. By the way, Mrs. Klein sent me a question that I thought I would share with all of you. Where should you stand in a cold room if you're cold? In the corner. It's always 90 degrees. You can groan later. So today's tip of how to make this an exceptional year. Tip number five, forgive. Let go of negativity and negative experiences. Throughout our lives, we will all have experienced or will experience hurtful things. Forgiving and letting them go allows us to move past them. Remember, Forgiveness benefits both, both the forgiver and the forgiven. Hashtag exceptional year. Dr. Kane, thank you for that message as always. So, you know, uh, I too have received uh, an, uh, a message from Mrs. Klein. Mrs. Klein, those of you that don't know, is one of our paraeducators. And as you know, she sent that to Mr. Kane. And so here's what she sent me. She wanted me to share this kindness quote. And so here it is. Kindness is the golden chain by which society bounds together. Again, thank you, Mrs. Klein, for sending that to me. I appreciate it. Mrs. Flint. Well, I know you'll be surprised that we're actually doing Word of the Week Wednesday on Wednesday, but we are. Yay. This is Word of the Week Wednesday, and this week's word is persistence. Mm -hmm. hmm. I would like you to send me an email using the word persistence in a sentence with regards to something that you achieved that took persistence. So, for example, my sentence might be... I learned to snow ski, but it took persistence. I did learn to snow ski, fell down a lot. I'd like to learn to snowboard. I wonder how many of you snowboard. Cedar Heights, have a great day. Remember, we are hashtag be kind, and we are caring principal communicators. See you soon, Cedar.